is, is how authentic teaching happens. Is uh, is you know that you're going to take the strong points mm -hmm. and and you're going to capitalize on them and you're going to take the weaknesses and you're going to try to fill them up from what they bring and you know, from what their prior knowledge is. So we have to start by instead of finding out their learning styles, we have to spend that time finding out what their prior knowledge is. Definitely. Yeah. And there is and a very there is a saying. very, very easy way for any teacher to know that. Like there is a very easy way for every teacher to know how their lesson plan is going to look like and how he's gonna do differentiated instruction. Very, very easy. Ask the student. Don't go home and try to imagine you understand how 30 different minds think and how I can do this or that. No, simply ask them. said it before. The lesson plan? Oh, it's right in front of me. It's in front of me. That's why I said earlier. My lesson plan is in front of me. I don't what need is to it that turn you want, any paper. What is it that you want to learn about? What is it that you want to write? I understand there is a level of, you know, knowledge that every student should have. They should know their English, their math. Or the, but, but I yeah. can't tell if it's happening today. But why would I teach, like I, I, I think I mentioned this the other, why would I teach even, say, physics? If I have a student who loves music, and he wants to be a musician, and, and I'm a physics teacher, let's start by the physics Harmonics. of sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Bring in a tuning fork. Exactly. And, and then a time marker. And then and let's find what connects what he already knows and what he likes, what he has the motivation for. And this is where you're with talking. With what you have to teach. Uh, you have scientific knowledge, the school, and then what's the street tell you about sound? What exactly? Well, it gets when the, yeah. the and, car is and, coming And forward. I always say, the very easy way, talk to your students, ask your students, you know, be there for them, be sympathetic, find the empathy, you know, how would you know what he likes? Uh, we, did, we have discovered, and you've been a part of that too, students who wanted to be writers. Oh my God, of course, we're going to bring John DeGroote yeah. and we're going to bring a writer here, a Pulitzer mm -hmm. winner, and we're going to have you meet with the man because we have to explore those things because this is how we're going to teach you. Believe me, as soon as the person finds out that there is something that he wants to do and that he has to get ready for and he has to study, you don't have to ask him to study any day. He'll do it. You don't have to worry that he will not learn this. He will go learn that because in here he will find the connecting lines to that other thing that you expect him to learn or her and boom, it'll be there. It's how many people out there who have discovered their, either their talents or their needs and have started to study that have come to possess an enormous culture, a great world view, and they have never been to school. So a school is not alone in its purpose of doing of teaching in it. People learn by themselves. I want you to start